Hi guys, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I want to talk about how to judge which scenes to cut out of our manuscript when we're not sure like whether or not these scenes should be or not should be included in our manuscript. And sometimes like as writers, we get involved and we write these huge, huge manuscripts when it really shouldn't be like the story doesn't need to be that long. Most of my books that I have written, they all surpass the 100,000 word mark and I'm painfully aware of the fact that they don't need to surpass the 100,000 word mark, but they do. And at least on one of them that I published, I know in my heart that at least I did everything I could to reduce it as much as I could and it still surpassed the 100,000 word mark, which is The Crystal Conjurer, which is out now on sale. And yeah, when we overwrite, it can happen for a number of reasons, but I have three main reasons that I know for a fact we sometimes tend to overwrite. And one of them is that when we're drafting a story, we still don't know these characters, we don't know this world. and we're getting to know them, right? So since we're getting to know them, we tend to get really involved with the world, their story, and like basically we're meeting them through the story. Another reason why we sometimes write these huge manuscripts <laughs> as a first draft is when, as I said, when we're really involved with it, when we're really enjoying it, and we're so in love with these characters in this world that we just don't read like don't realize yeah another person's gonna read this and they might get bored reading about my characters talking over coffee about their lives for example another reason why sometimes it ends, it ends up being super long is because it needs to be super long and usually these are science fiction and epic fa epic fantasy books epic stories that really can be solved in 50,000 60,000 words so without further ado, like how do we judge which scenes to cut out of the manuscript? Well, the the key word here, like the key question that we need to ask ourselves is if I cut, if I remove this scene, will the story still move on and reach a uh, satisfying conclusion? And if the answer is yes, then that scene needs to be cut out of the story. There are some scenes that some that even if you cut them out, you might still reach a proper conclusion to the story and the story will still move on. But these scenes might further develop characters or character relationships, so they are important and they don't need to be cut, like they shouldn't be cut out of the story, even if cutting them out Still leads you to a conclusion. It's just if a character starts, I mean, if a character ends the story the same way it started, he or she started the story, then that character really didn't develop. That's not a character that people can relate with, and that's not a character that's gonna feel real. Like, characters need to change and develop, and character relationships need to change and develop as well. So, it's important to keep in mind that even if a scene seems um, unimportant, superfluous to the plot itself. It may still be important for the characters, so we need to keep that in mind when we are judging whether or not to cut out a scene. To summarize, if you come across a scene that you can completely disappear, erase from the story, and you still reach a proper conclusion with rightly, with well-developed characters and relationships, then that scene can be cut out. And this is it for this video. I hope you liked it and you found it useful. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. From now on, this channel will contain both um, videos in English and Spanish. So sometimes you will see a, um, a video posted in Spanish and just letting you know just in case. <laughs>